A growing rift in the state of Washington. The state, districts, teachers, parents, and students are all split when it comes to the best ways to return to in-person learning without compromising anyone's safety. Good evening, I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Mark Wright. So tonight the Edmonds School District became the latest to reverse its decision to bring more students back by the end of the year, saying they just couldn't reach an agreement that everyone could agree on. Meantime, in places like Issaquah, parents are still holding out hope. King 5's Tony Black joining us live now with the latest. Tony. Yeah, good evening to you both here. I spoke with one parent who says while she completely understands the teacher's concerns about wanting to get vaccinated first, the fact that her son has not been able to come to a school building and open these doors for nearly a year is just too much, and it is time to reopen. In downtown Issaquah Wednesday, parents of kids in the Issaquah School District held a rally pushing for schools to reopen. And not only have our schools been closed since March 12th, but most children, and when I say most, I'm talking about 99%, have not even stepped inside their school building. Caitlin Schreiber is a parent with two high school age kids who she says are missing out on the crucial aspects of the school experience. We're talking about not being able to go inside and work on a biology lab, or not being able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a teacher, um, not to mention all the clubs and other things that make a high school life so rich. They are getting nothing, no ability to do any of those things right now. Schreiber understands where teachers and unions who want to be vaccinated before returning are coming from, but she points to the science. While there is a risk, it can be done. It is safe to go back to school without a vaccine. On Wednesday, the State Department of Health issued their fourth report on the return to in-person learning with several key findings, including even with vaccinating all staff, which would offer higher protection, it wouldn't fully prevent the coronavirus from spreading. And more frequent screenings of students, teachers, and staff could reduce typical spread by 50%. The CDC issued similar guidelines earlier this month, and President Joe Biden is on record saying he wants schools to reopen and stay open. We are all trying to do the best that we can. We are all struggling. Now, current state health guidelines have the schools reopening in phases, but it is already March. And Caitlin added that her son has basically given up all hope that he is going to make it back into schools for the rest of his senior year. For now, here live in Issaquah, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.